This hunt took place in early November on a piece of public hunting land we called the Ponds. The bucks just started cruising. We started hunting on uh, November 6th. We had 10 deer come in on November 6th. Three of them were shooter bucks, but the way we was set up, there was quite a bit of distance between us and them. So on Monday, we uh, snuck in there and set up in a different place. We had a lot better luck. I ended up missing a nice buck and then shortly after had an encounter with a bigger buck. But when I missed that buck, it ended up running straight to Travis, who was short a cameraman, so he was set up filming himself and wasn't able to get the camera on it and get his bow draw back. By the time we got everything calmed down and thought all the deer movement had slowed down for the day, the buck that we had the encounter with that we couldn't get on camera ended up walking by and we got him pretty nice. And Around noon or so, I got a text message from Travis saying that he uh, shot a doe. So we decided to take the following day off and let everything cool down a little bit. And we snuck back in there Wednesday with another plan and we had three of us in the woods. We was each going to film ourselves and film another person if we could to get some different angles. Thank you. 
when I climbed up in a tree that morning, I actually forgot to tie my bow to my string. So I had to take my homemade retrieval tool, which is a treble hook I filed the barbs off of and retrieve my bow off the ground, pull it up in the stand. So got in there, got set up, everything calmed down. Travis made a few doe bleats and wasn't 10 minutes later I heard crushing in the uh, leaves and I looked back and here come a buck. And where I'd missed that buck the last time we was in there, I just looked at him once and just concentrated on his body the rest of the time. So when he came around, I ended up drawing back on him and taking him. And we ended up getting it on two different cameras and it looked pretty cool. Well, I would definitely say it looks like we got pretty good blood on that one. It's been uh, just about four hours since I shot him, so there's still a lot on there. I like it. Looks good. Well, we'll get packed up and see if we can find him. I don't think he went real far. Stick with us, see what happens. I got a pretty nice little uh, eight-pointer here tickled with him. Been a pretty good week so far. Hope we'll keep it up. Public hunting land is great. Um, it's great to have your own private property, but Public land, if you have access to good hunting on public land is, is awesome. We've hunted a place we call the Pines. All of my life, I, I killed my first deer there. Uh, killed my biggest deer there. We hunt it all the time. Deer just travel through there like crazy, especially around November. From the beginning of November to the end of November, it's, it's just awesome in there. November 7th, it's about 7.30, we're up here uh, same spot me and Blaine were at yesterday, we saw 10 deer all together, one definite shooter, and uh, one that would make you think about it, but uh, a while ago we saw five bucks and five does, and two days before that, me and dad were in here and saw a real nice buck real wide, but I'm actually uh, filming myself this morning. Dad and Blaine are over the hill trying to get these deer and cut them off either way. From what we've seen yesterday, we, we should have a good chance of one of us getting something, so hopefully we have a morning like we did yesterday start seeing some deer, but stick with us and uh, we'll see how things go today. I look up, there's a doe 50 yards and it's on.
prepared it is. <clears throat> 12.25. Hadn't seen much activity. Dad and Blaine are over the hill. I had a nice buck come in earlier, but couldn't get a shot. He was moving. Blaine had already missed him, so he was moving pretty quick, moving through. But, uh, it had been a couple hours since we'd seen anything. I'm filming myself this morning. I, uh, had a doe just come in. She ate for ever, it seemed like. I ranged her at 43 yards and just smoked her. I just heard her go down over the hill, so that's been a pretty awesome morning. They have, uh, they've seen some three shooters. I've only seen one of those, but, uh, I've seen that makes the fourth deer, so it's been a pretty good morning. Kind of slow for a couple hours, but I had to redeem myself after missing or making a bad hit on a, a shooter the other night. So, the long shot on a doe. Stick with me, I'll uh, get down here in a little bit for the recovery. Well, found the arrow. I know if I heard her crash, she should be right down there, so try to go find her we're not going to do a big massive recovery on this beast of a doe but we'll uh, we'll go get her and get a tag on her. all right finally after we got it all uh all the briars moved out of the way there ain't much to say just another doe but uh it was a good hunt this morning i've seen four blaine and dad seen seven total with three shooters uh blaine had a nice one about 15 yards and missed him but she came in 45 yards and she probably only ran about 50 from where I shot her, so I'm gonna tag on her and get her out of here. <laughs>